Insurance can be complicated and getting the right one to fit your company is paramount, especially when it comes to niche industries such as marine, oil and gas. With me now is Peter Mellett from BankServe Insurance Services, the market leader in a number of insurance markets to explain how to navigate through the paperwork and various services. Well, Peter, I want to start with mortgagees, interest insurance and innocent owners insurance. What exactly are these? What they are are contingent covers to protect lenders and investors in the event that owner's policies don't pay. When a, a loan starts, during the life of that loan, the owner will buy insurance for hull, war and liabilities. Now, sometimes those policies don't respond and the mortgagee's interest covers and the innocent owner's policies are a second line of defence and they will step in when the underwriters of the owner's policies say no, we're not going to pay and we don't think we have a liability. That's what they do. And are there claims? Yeah, uh, there are a lot. Um, people don't think there are. With any insurance, it's a piece of paper until you make a claim. Maybe it'll help you sleep better at nights, but you've got to make sure it works. There aren't as many claims on mortgages, interest insurance or innocent owners as there are on other forms of cover. Marine policies, there are claims all the time. But we have done 80 claims in the last 15 years. Now, it doesn't sound a lot, but that is. And we've collected nearly all of the claims in the market during that period of time. Aggregate total is about $160 million and we just collected the biggest one ever at just over $64 million. What's the differences between the policy forms? I think the differences in the policy forms you can buy are some of the most extreme in the market. Marine policies are fairly concentrated in the middle, but mortgage interest insurance particularly varies. There are two ends of the spectrum. There's a market wording, which is written by underwriters for underwriters, and at the other end of the spectrum, we've got a very user-friendly form which is as wide as we can get it and also very user friendly for the borrowers so it helps everyone during the process and I think it's important to remember that you're going out you're not just buying a product from a shelf you're not buying some hull insurance or war insurance or liability cover you're buying a product which has got varieties of form available and it's important to buy the right one and policy wording how has that evolved over the years it's evolved through claims I think insurance is a product which does evolve through the claims process. It's only when you have claims and someone looking at a liability and lawyers looking at policy wordings and asking themselves, well, does this work? What do these words say? What does this do? Is this what we intended the policy to cover? And people examining those issues that you get to a position where suddenly you say, right, well, maybe this is a problem now and you settle and you compromise. But next time you look at the wording and you change it to make sure that problem doesn't come up again. And it, that's the way it evolves through the claims process. And mortgage interest insurance hasn't evolved as quickly because there haven't been a lot of claims. I said 80, that isn't many compared to other types of cover. But at the same time, each claim we've learned from and changed the wording to make it more user friendly next time. Why should financiers and investors use their own broker to arrange cover rather than let the owner buy it for them? Privity, basically. If they use the owner or the owner's broker, they will be fixed with the knowledge that the owner or the broker has. And the whole idea of these policies is to protect an innocent mortgagee or investor. Now, they go and buy their own cover. They have to disclose things to underwriters. And the covers will work, providing they're not aware of the problem which is invalidating the owner's policy. Now, the owner will know what he's doing wrong. His broker will have information about the owner. Now, if the bank doesn't have that and they place their own cover, they're clean. Their policy is untainted. If they use the owner, then they have problems. And I think if they use the owner or the owner's broker, the policy is devalued in its effectiveness by more than 50%. Well, finally, are there things that people should look out for when they're buying mortgagees, interest insurance or innocent owners insurance cover? The main thing, one of the main words is disclosure. You've got to tell people the right things. You've got to disclose to underwriters any information you have. Now, I know that sounds simple, but I think in mortgages, interest insurance, it becomes more complicated. And as soon as you have a claim, the first thing that happens is the underwriters will instruct a lawyer. He'll ask for the loan repayment history. If underwriters haven't been told 
that maybe the loan's in default, the owner's missed payments, they will scream non-disclosure. They will say, we should have been told this. This is information we should have been provided. And non-disclosure is one of the hardest defences to overcome uh, to marine claims. It's a very subjective issue. What would have influenced an underwriter's decision-making process? And that is something which immediately puts you into compromised territory. So I think disclosure, and then I think look at the policy forms, and going back to one of your previous questions, to look at who's doing it. Make sure the bank is buying their own cover. The owner buys his cover, the bank should buy theirs, and if you keep the two separate, then you should give yourself the best chance of making policies work when you need them. Peter, thank you. Pleasure.